What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. I honestly wish I was able to record a different video right now. I wish I did not have to record this video, but for me it is important to share my personal life here on my channel because for me that gives a closer connection to my viewers, my subscribers, and anybody else that is interested in my content. So, as you guys could probably tell because the title of this video, I ended up getting laid off of my job due to the coronavirus outbreak, and this week has been a crazy week for me. Not only because I live here in Canada, and everything is shutting down due to the coronavirus, but I also have been laid off, which is kind of depressing for me. In one hand, I do understand. In the other hand, I work security at a casino. They should need security personnel at the casino because there's still money at the casino. But well, I'm going to be talking about that a little bit more. But as for the coronavirus, everything's shutting down. Uh, museums, malls, any gatherings that originally it was any gatherings that are more than 250 people. Right now it's announced 50 people, but there's talks that it's going to be reduced down to 10 people where, uh, meaning that they don't want anybody being in groups more than 10 people, which it's starting to get really crazy. The grocery stores are becoming empty. All of the produce aisles are empty, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, soap, that sort of things in stores is getting cleared out. It is very apocalyptic scenes right now. People are posting these items online, trying to get a hell of a pr profit from it. So everything over here right now is going crazy. As you guys know, I do work in Ottawa, Ontario, but I do live an hour away from my work. So once we got the call, uh, basically them announcing that we are officially laid off, Everybody was concerned. Nobody knew what was happening for the first little bit for us as employees because it got announced to the news first, but not us. It took them a little bit while to update us. We checked our emails. HR at our location was one email would say one thing and then half an hour later they'd reverse it and say this is what's happening. Then they'd send us another one saying this is what's happening. So we did not know a thing until we got the official call from our supervisors saying all staff as of right now are laid off. They are sending out our record of employment, which we should receive in two days, and we can go and apply for EI, which after this video, I plan on doing. I'm going to start my EI, basically my unemployment application. That way I can hopefully get a little bit money um, while I'm waiting to hear about what's gonna happen next. Because everything is shutting down right now here in Ontario. Those that are infected are climbing. Uh, I don't know what the death rate here is in Canada, but worldwide it's increasing as well. So the infected rate is increasing right now as well. Ottawa started with one person getting it. Within 24 hours, a second person. Then went up to five, and 24 hours later it went up to 10. It's been steadily increasing, and that's just in Ottawa, Canada's capital, which is really close to the casino. Uh, I knew for work, us at the casino, it, it was going to happen. It was just a matter of when they were going to close it. But for us in security, there's been closures at our casino in the past, not while I was working there this past year, but in the past there has been, where... They end up having to lay off all departments, so any of the restaurant workers, the cleaners, the slot techs, slot assistants, anybody that's in the back for the money, the count team, or anything like that, all get laid off because there's literally no work for them. But security stays there for security. It's the same routine as always. You go in for your regular shifts. It just There's nobody there. Nothing's open. You still have to do your patrols making sure everything's locked up, making sure everything is secured. There's still money in the casino. So whenever we heard about these layoffs, we did not think we were going to be affected by it because we are security. Right now, there is still security at the casino, but it is only our security manager and our security supervisors that are there. No security employees are there, are full-time and part-time, and nobody is there. So in total, the casino laid off 800 people, which... 
on one hand, I understand it is pretty crazy. It's chaotic right now, everything that's going on with the coronavirus. But as of right now, there's no word on when I'm going to be back to work, which is depressing. First day, I was all upset, angry, not knowing what to do. But I'm trying to think of the positives. Right now, some people are thinking in two weeks, everything's going to go back to normal. I just don't see that happening in two weeks. I'm sorry if you do, but I have to think at it realistically. And what I'm thinking right now is since everything is increasing, the number of people infected, the number of deaths that are happening, the fact that we can't or we're not supposed to go in crowds more than 10 people, it's going to get worse before it gets better. And I don't think anything is going to go back to normal until it at least starts to level off for the cases and it's not increasing because right now it's doubling by the day, most things. So I don't see it doing it in two weeks. I think it'll be at least a month or more before everything starts to reopen and things start going back to normal. With that being said, I'm trying to keep positive. I have been working on more videos. I have a lot more time on my hands. I'm able to go and see my girlfriend more, which she lives in Ottawa. But for me, I can literally drive from my house to her house and we're not going outside. We're not going to be in large gatherings or anything like that. There's nothing open anyways. So just to go spend the weekend with her or spend, I think in a couple days, I'm going to be there for about five days or maybe a week or whatever. We'll see what happens, but I have a lot more time on my hands for that. So that's a positive for me, of course, gaming, but gaming can get dull. I have a lot of projects I'm working on, a lot of videos I'm trying to plan out, a lot of videos I'm trying to record, edit, get ready, and my channel will hopefully not be affected by this, but since I have a lot more time on my hands, hopefully I can get a lot more things done before everything goes back to normal. So I'm trying to think of the positive while I have this time off. I am going to be applying for EI, so unemployment, and hopefully I can get some source of money coming in while I'm waiting to hear an update on work. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on everything that's happening right now in my life due to the coronavirus and share with you the fact that I have officially been laid off due to the casino closing because of the coronavirus. I hope everybody stays safe wherever you live in the world. I do know people that live in Ireland, the US, so I'm hoping everybody is safe. Everybody just continues to wash their hands, use hand sanitizers. Don't go outside unless you need to, and don't travel outside of your country unless you absolutely need to. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to share a little update with you guys and to check and just tell you guys to be safe because I hope you guys are. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.